Good afternoon. I'm Roger Harris. And on behalf of our families and our staff at Harris Pest Control, I'd like to welcome everyone here today. We at Harris Pest Control feel honored to host Governor McMaster as he signs into law the Business License Tax Standardization Act. This new law will make it easier for companies that work in multiple cities and towns to do business in this great state of South Carolina. Currently, companies pay annually for a license in each city or town we do business in. This new law will simplify that process. Harris Pest Control was started in 1973 by my parents, Bob and Loretta Harris. Not happy with the direction his current job was going, my father used the knowledge he had gained in the pest industry and started Harris Pest Control. He has passed on now, and the ownership is shared by my mother, my brother Tim, and myself. Tim and I manage the day-to-day -day operations. Harris Pest Control has grown, grown larger than our expectations. After being in business for 47 years, we currently employ 48 people, including management, office staff, and technicians. We service all categories of insects, rodents, and moisture issues in residential, commercial, and industrial properties. We currently have two offices and serve service in 11 counties from the Grand Strand through the PD into the Midlands. In this area, we purchase 28 business licenses each year. This is where the South Carolina License Tax Standardization Act will be beneficial for us. It's now my privilege to introduce Governor Henry McMaster. Thank you, Roger Harris. Since it's 200 degrees here, I think we're going to be very short. Y'all are lucky ones. Y'all over there in the shade. It's, we're about to get a suntan out here, Mr. Speaker. I'm happy to be here. This is a this this act, this bill took some time to get here. I remember speaking for for my office. I remember in 2017 we had these business regulatory meetings all around the state, and the one thing that came up in every one that we went to was this buying licenses, having to pay money and under different systems in different places, and you spend as much time going around getting your business license as you did doing the jobs, it felt like. So this is a great standardization uh, that's come forward. It's going to make things easier. Uh, Jay Jordan did a terrific job in, in getting it started in the legislature, and, of course, others participated very much. But the main rule to remember, there's a couple of them, is when mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. And the corollary to that in South Carolina, because our business in South Carolina is business, is when business is not happy, nobody's happy. This will go a long way to make business happy, make it prosperous. That means more jobs, better jobs uh, for every, every citizen in South Carolina. So this is another big step forward, and it was made possible by business leaders and others, and these leaders you see behind me today, some are not here, some are here. But this is a collaboration. Took some time, but it's excellent. It's an excellent step forward. And speaking of business in South Carolina, I've, my, my chance to introduce the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world in economic development, and that would be Chairman Hugh Leatherman from Florence County. Mr. Chairman. Chairman, thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you back to the PD. As you all know, he's a part of the PD. Has a family here, has an interest here. And I'll tell you what, you're doing a great job in Columbia. Remember that when you go to the polls next time. I really uh, want to echo what the governor said. This is an exciting day. At times, I wasn't sure it was going to happen. At the end, the bill came down to the last hours last day of session after years of work. Mr. Speaker, thank you for your leadership in the House on this issue. And as you, as you know, this bill will not have passed without the efforts of my House member, Jay Jordan. Jay, you did a great job. I think you learned a lot about the Senate and how it works. I understand it was a unique experience for you. <laughs> you know, I often hear that we should run the government like a business. I hear that quite often. Few things are a better example of this concept than the business license bill. This bill is a win-win for all involved. As a business owner, I don't enjoy paying taxes any more than anyone else. But you know, uh, by making the process more streamlined and more efficient, 
business owners spend less time complying with the law and get to spend more time running your business. This is just not a good conservative policy. It's just good common sense. It will also provide efficiencies to the cities and counties, and I believe it will lead to a higher voluntary compliance rate. So, less time is spent administering the tax, and less time complying with the tax. If that isn't progress, I don't know what progress is. And I've been called just like you have getting a business license in other localities. It takes a lot of time to go out there and do it, and you really need to be back at the office or at home, uh, keeping your workers where they need to be working. With that, I have a distinct pleasure of introducing one of the most powerful people in PZ, in fact, the state of South Carolina governor, I hate to say that, but uh, you know how things work in Columbia. And that, who I'm about to speak, uh, introduce now, is Speaker Jay Lewis. Mr. Speaker, you're doing a great job over there, and thank you for what you do. Thank you for coming back to the PD. I come back to my roots often. You come back to your roots also. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. It's, a, it, it's great to be at Harris Pest Control. It's great to be here with my friends, Henry McMaster and Hugh Leatherman. Um, let me tell you, it, it's, it's great to have TD Roots in such powerful positions. And um, Governor McMaster, I think, is the best governor in the United States of America. I tell him that all the time. Hugh Leatherman has um, been a tremendous mentor to me and a friend to everyone in the PD. So it's an honor to stand up up here with these two individuals. Um, I think we can all agree that 2020 was a strange, strange year, and it continues to be a strange year. And um, it did, it interrupted our legislative session, and one of the priorities for this session, maybe a priority a lot of you didn't know about, but a lot of business in South Carolina did know about, was finding a way to come up with a uniformity in business license collection and levy in South Carolina. And we worked extremely hard on this bill. Jay Jordan, I want to congratulate him and what he did for putting this bill forward. But there were a lot of stakeholders who worked on this bill. Um, Manufacturers Alliance, Sarah Hazard, John Wall, they did an outstanding job working with the municipal, with the municipal association in, in coming up with really a compromise bill to an issue that there had been no compromise on for many, many years. We, we, we worry that our businesses in South Carolina were being taken advantage of because we had what we call them bounty hunters going out and collecting business license and keeping a large share of your tax dollars and tax dollars that business raise for themselves while we had municipalities not getting that money to provide services um, in our great state. So I think this is a win-win for everyone. It's certainly a great win um, for business in South Carolina, but it's an also a win for the municipalities in the state. When you can bring these groups together and when they can take Jay Jordan's product and work on it and work out a compromise that we could pass. And um, Chairman Leatherman is right. We, we, had, we had this compromise worked out in March. Um, this was a bill that we got to the, either the last day or the day before the last day of session. We didn't want to let it get away from us because it was an issue that had been pressing for so long. We worried if it got away from us, we would never get consensus on it again. And again, I want to, to thank Jay Jordan. I also want to thank Lee Hewitt, who came from Georgetown, South Carolina, and worked on this bill and worked so hard on it along with Jay Jordan. But I will say this, Jay Jordan is is not only a good friend, but he's an outstanding public servant. Um, he has innovative ideas. He's not afraid to tackle tough issues. And this, this was a tough issue, but Jay didn't back away from it. He knew he would get some criticism. He stepped up. He put in a bill, and sometimes what you put in is not the finished product of what you get out. But in this situation, when we can put in a bill and get agreement, from the municipalities when you can get agreement for businesses about business license in South Carolina. It's a win-win for all of South Carolina. So with that being said, it's my tremendous honor to um, introduce my colleague and the author of this bill, Representative Jay Jordan. Representative Jordan.
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I probably didn't deserve half of that, but it's greatly, those kind words are greatly appreciated. Um, my friend Lee Hewitt next to me said if I talk more than two minutes, he was leaving. Uh, and he's one of my best friends in the house, so <laughs> thank you. Um, just a few things. We were, we were in the back before we came out, and they said, you get the back cleanup. You can speak last. And I said, wow, I don't know that I deserve that either. And then I think it was the governor who said, well, all the good stuff will be taken by then, too, so good luck. <laughs> Um, just, a, just a few things, um, sort of to reiterate what has been said. This is a very, very good day, I believe, for businesses in South Carolina, um, particularly small businesses. What attracted me to this legislation originally was, you know, we as politicians go around talking about how small businesses are the lifeblood of our economy, and I believe that 100%, um, and we need to do what we can to make it, make it so that those businesses can be more efficient, grow their businesses, and and things like that. This was something tangible that I think we can point to and I hope we'll be able to look back on and say, as the governor said, uh, these businesses like Harris Pest Control and others across the state uh, will be able to spend more time doing their business than complying with the law in order to be in compliance with their business. So I'm, I'm hopeful that's going to turn out to be the case. But also, it, the, the, end, the end result of this was 100% teamwork. I see the sun coming out. That's my cue to hurry up. 100% um, teamwork. You've already heard them from stakeholders, from the Manufacturer Alliance, to the realtors, many of them who are here today, many of them who are not here today in the House. I think about Bill Sandifer and David Mack, who were instrumental in this bill and worked hard on it. Um, Roger Kirby, who couldn't be here today, worked on it. Lee Hewitt, of course. Um, also, I couldn't say um, enough thank you to, to Chairman Leatherman. I promise you this bill would not come to be had he not uh, reached in and helped tremendously, especially on that last day in the Senate. Uh, I'll tell you a quick funny story. I got I just gotten elected, and uh, Chairman Leatherman's always had a very open-door policy to me, and I, I said, Chairman, I don't know if you know this, but I'm sure you know this, but I'm your House member. And he said, well, I'll call you if I ever need anything. <laughs> he, he hadn't called yet, but he's answered my call when I've called, that's for sure. Um, also, Speaker Lucas, um, I can't tell you how great a job Speaker Lucas does in Columbia, and he cares about uh, every every part of this state. He goes all over this state trying to make this state a better place. He's been a great speaker. He's been a great friend to me. I can't tell you how much I appreciate everything. There's a, there's a running joke in the state house when they say Jay Jordan's business license bill. They say they misspelled Jordan. It should have been spelled L-U-C-A-S, the Jay Lucas business license bill. So thank you, Mr. Speaker. And lastly, Governor, I can't say enough uh, nice things. Uh, you talk about an open door policy from a governor. Um, if I text him or call him, it's not minutes and he's back there trying to figure out how he can help. Um, he's another one of those individuals that it, had it not been for the muscle in, his, in him and his office, this bill wouldn't come to fruition. And then lastly, uh, folks like Harris Pest Control, and thank you all for opening your doors. Businesses like this are truly the ones that made this bill come to fruition. Uh, them being willing to come to Columbia and speak up and say, I've got a person who works for me, this is all they do, and that's not right. And so they, they truly deserve the credit. And lastly, I never forget to thank my wife and kids who, who uh, two out of three didn't mind getting cut in school uh, to be here today. The third one wants to get back to basketball practice, so he wants me to wrap up too. Uh, so thank you all for everything. Uh, Governor, thank you for coming to Florence. You, you truly do come over here all the time. We appreciate that as well. And I believe it's this, he's going to go ahead and sign this one into law for us. Thank you.